one. Now he's still we right, it doesn't Yep. Yep. Seems to be a bit slow then. So today we're just going to be making the mortise and tenon join. This is the mortise and tenon join. This is the mortise, mortise, this is the tenon. They go together like so. Okay, here we go. So t today we're going to be uh, doing the mortise and tenon join. Uh, the tools we need, our marking out tools to start with is the tri-square, uh, right angle tri-square. The marking gauge, which I've set to the uh, width of my chisel, that's the uh, mortise gauge, I should say. <laughs> Carpenter's pencil, nice and sharp. A rule. And our tape measure. The cutting tools we're going to be using are the tenon saw. The chisel. How wide? It doesn't matter. It's a 10 mil chisel. Okay. Sorry, it's a 12 mil chisel. <laughs> the mallet, wooden mallet. Let's go with our chisel. And the file with one smooth edge. Okay, the timber we're going to be using to do our joint is. Radiator pine! Yes, radiator pine. 42 by 42. 42 by 42. So we'll start off with our marking out. I'm going to go down to a depth of 10 millimeters with my mortise uh, joint. So I'll just show you that mark there, 10 millimeters. Now I've measured that and I've marked that out all the way around using my tri square. And earlier I found the centre of my um, piece of timber that I'm going to use for the uh, mortise. So I've marked that using the piece of timber as my width. Next I'll just show you the mortise gauge which has been set to the width of the chisel. Okay, let's start by marking out the the tenon. You right, Amadeus? So we've marked that all the way around. I'll put a face mark on this side. And we're ready to cut that one. We'll come down here to the vise. We'll do our two ripping cuts first. Who's behind me? No one. You only want to go down to the 10 mil mark. Same on the other side. Now we'll use our bench hook.
you might just have to take that down a little on that side. I was tempted to just hold it there and do it, but I won't show people bad habits. <laughs> so there's our tenon. We might just tidy that up a little with the file. Now we'll create our mortise. The mortise, we're going to use the same marking gauge with the same settings and we'll just mark through, through our timber like so. We set that in the vise. It's important to use the correct chisel when you're doing this joint. This is a mortising chisel. You can see that it has, you can see that it has square edges as opposed to the beveled edge has a square edge. We'll start off using the mallet, we'll mark our end, put your chisel right on the end point and mark it over. Come back and do the same on your other end point. Now you can commence to work the timber out. How do you know how far to, to cut it out? Oh, uh, you just have to guess. Guess? No, wait, that's why we use a ruler. Right. Swing it around the other way, come back at the joint. Is this the hardest one? Yeah. Check out my arms and you can see. Oh, you're flexing, bro. Yeah, I am. Oh, hard. You know why? Because <laughs> the chisel is so blunt, it's not funny. Really? I'm trying to make it look easy, but it ain't. <laughs> Just a bit down, sir. Behind. We'll check the depth on that one. Right. Hmm? I can see them, they're recording my arm. I'll just come back the other way at it now. Almost done. Seven minutes. <laughs> it's a long one. <clears throat> Have a look at that. Just need to just need to take a little more out of that bottom of that. Are they gone? Is it why is it so quiet? Because everyone's watching. Are the kids gone? Where are the kids gone? In the room. They're all behind you. Only two. Yeah, they're all gone. They left me. You guys are giving me massive trouble. I might have to edit it. No, 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 it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't oh. worry about it. We'll, we'll edit, we'll edit, you know, when we come to do it. Don't worry about it. It's better than no. watching a gym session, so. Going good. Done. Way to go, Idaho. Well done. So there's your mortise and tenon.